Hi, I'm Mark Davies. Welcome to this video in which we'll discuss how to analyze the words and phrases in the concordance or quick searches that you've done at EnglishCorpora.org. Let's first look at the process, which is pretty easy, and then we'll compare this process to creating and using virtual corpora, which have some similarities. Suppose you do a search for adjective energy in the coca corpus, corpus of contemporary American English. You would see results like renewable energy, clean energy, and nuclear energy. You can click on nuclear energy to see more than 1,500 concordance lines. Click on Find Sample 100 to find a good unordered sample of 100 concordance lines. Then click on Analyze. Click here to select all of the lines and then click Analyze. This page takes the 100 sample concordance lines that you've selected and analyzes the other words in the concordance line. At about 30 words, 15 to the left and 15 to the right, of nuclear energy in this case, that's about 300 words. It then shows the keywords in these lines. In other words, if you have the phrase nuclear energy, these are the other words that tend to occur nearby. Note that it's smart enough to eliminate high frequency words like the, with, have, and so on, which occur near almost any word. In addition to looking at the keywords, you can also click on any of the keywords. Or you can click on any of the words from the concordance lines. This shows you a detailed word sketch for that word, including definitions, synonyms, and other related words collocates, t related topics, clusters, and concordance lines, as well as links to external resources like translations to more than a hundred languages, images, pronunciation, videos, and so on. Take a look at the Analyze Text video for more information on that topic or the word sketches video for everything that's possible there. And note that you can also save the text from the concordance lines and then access this another day. To see just how simple and quick this process is, let's try it for another search. Here we find noun collocates of DNA. Then we click on protein to find protein near DNA. Then we get 100 sample lines. We click on analyze, select all of the lines, and here we've been able to analyze the lines. The whole process, if we hadn't stopped to explain what we were doing, would take less than 10 seconds. So all of this is kind of similar to what we do when we create and use virtual corpora, where we can search for a word or phrase and then create a virtual corpus based on the text that contain those words or phrases. That's one way of creating virtual corpora. But here are some differences between the two processes. With virtual corpora, we're finding co-occurring words in the entire text, 
It can be 100, 200 words away. With virtual corpora, we can create the virtual corpus either by searching for words and phrases, or we can use metadata to create the virtual corpora by focusing on text by a particular author or from a particular year or a particular source and so on. So it's fairly powerful in that sense. With virtual corpora, we can save and then later retrieve the virtual corpora. We can copy and move text between virtual corpora. We can categorize them. A lot of very powerful functionality. With virtual corpora, we can see keywords in the virtual corpora. And perhaps most importantly, we can limit subsequent searches to a particular virtual corpus. So for example, if we create a virtual corpus um, based on the phrase nuclear energy, then we can come back later and search for collocates or strings or whatever within that virtual corpus. When we take the results from the keyword in context or quick or concordance display and analyze the text, there's some differences. First and perhaps most importantly, here we're looking just at the surrounding context, maybe 35 to 40 words rather than full text as with virtual corpora. The keyword in context results can be from a list search, chart search, collocates, and so on. And something else that's important is that we can just decide on the spur of the moment as we're looking at the quick results, hey, we want to analyze the surrounding words. In other words, we want to create a list right now. We don't really need to plan ahead as we do with virtual corpora. We, as we've seen, we can save and retrieve the surrounding text and use it another day. As we've seen, once we click on Analyze Text, then we can see keywords from the surrounding text, and we can see word sketches for any of these keywords or any of the words in the surrounding text. And something we haven't discussed here, but we can also find related phrases in COCA for any of the words in the surrounding text. And to get information on that, take a look at the video dealing with analyzing text. Anyway, hopefully this video has shown you a little bit about a powerful but often unknown feature in the corpora from EnglishCorpora.org.